recognize the risks of baby powder and the right way to use it. Baby powder is usually used to keep baby's skin dry, feel soft, and smell good. However, mothers need to be more careful in choosing and using baby powder. This is because improper use can cause problems in the baby's health. Baby powder is generally made from magnesium silicate powder or cornstarch. In addition to making baby's skin soft and fragrant, parents also usually use baby powder to prevent and treat diaper rash around the baby's buttocks and genital area. However, parents also need to be vigilant in using baby powder, especially if it is used around the baby's face and nose. The content of magnesium silicate in baby powder can have a negative impact on health if it is inhaled by the baby. Risks of excessive using baby powder. Mothers should use baby powder for their little one in moderation. Excessive use of baby powder or in too much amount can cause several health problems, such as irritation. The use of baby powder containing magnesium silicate can cause irritation to the baby's skin which is still sensitive. If you want to dry your little one's skin after bathing, it's better to use a soft towel instead of baby powder. However, if you want to use baby powder, make sure you don't sprinkle it too much and don't let the baby inhale it. Respiratory Disorders Baby powder has a very fine texture and easily rises in the air. This causes baby powder particles, either magnesium silicate or corn flour, to be easily inhaled by babies. Even if inhaled in small amounts, the particles in the baby powder can irritate the baby's respiratory tract and cause respiratory problems, such as coughing, shortness of breath, and wheezing. Lung Cancer The content of magnesium silicate in baby powder is also believed to trigger cancer. This is because baby powder with these ingredients usually contains a dangerous substance called asbestos, which is a carcinogenic substance that triggers the growth of cancer cells. When asbestos is inhaled for a long time, this can increase the baby's risk of developing lung cancer. How to reduce side effects of using baby powder? Mothers can reduce the side effects that can arise from using baby powder in the following ways. Pour enough baby powder into the palm of the hand. Wipe gently on your hand before rubbing it on your little one's body. Gently rub the baby powder into your chest, back and areas that sweat easily. Make sure the baby powder you apply is not too thick. Avoid using baby powder right in the genital area or around the mouth and nose so that it is not inhaled or swallowed. Apart from knowing how to use baby powder properly, Mothers also need to know how to choose baby powder products that are suitable for your little one's skin. Make sure the baby powder used is registered with the Food and Drug Supervisory Agency BPOM. Mothers can also choose a powder containing purified talc, labeled hypoallergenic, and has a soft and not too sharp fragrance. Baby powder that contains talc is more at risk of causing health problems if inhaled in large quantities to choke the baby or in small amounts, but in the long term. If your little one's skin looks red, dry, scaly, or he becomes fussy because of itching after using baby powder, stop using it immediately and consult a doctor so that appropriate treatment can be given.
Papa L.